in my today's presentation i'll be talking about the issues uh, related to the position the concerns related to anesthesia the different hemodynamic changes that take space in the changing of position and various anatomical parameters that may change in different position whether it is supine or prone position if you can recall uh, your pcnl being done in a prone position you will appreciate that moment the uterine catheter is placed in a supine lithotomy position the ot atmosphere immediately changes the scrubbers immediately gets ready there are two people to change the position to a different trolley anesthesia technician is ready to help the anesthesia pg or the faculty if this is pg she will be immediately calling the consultant to come because the patient has to be changed to a different trolley or change to a different position the anesthesia people are worried about their airway which is uh, uh, efficiently secured the iv line along with the iv bottle they will be holding and uh, the urology pg will be worried about the genitalia the uterine catheter coming out and the catheter which is connected to the back and we have to remember that when we are changing our patient from this position after putting the catheter to the trolley and back to the same table there is some chance of injury to the spine in different way especially the striker spine once this patient is shifted from the same table or by shifting this to the ot table to the trolley and back then the anesthesia people are worried because the abdomen in prone position goes down and because of the compression suddenly they will see some changes happening in the monitor because of various respiratory and cardiovascular changes there is a hyperextension of the arm shoulder and the neck for which anesthesia people will be very careful to avoid injuries to the uh, uh, to the various nerves especially the brachial plexus they will be very were worried about padding the pressure areas including the face the eyes because there are reports published where because of retinal vessel occlusion and peace orbital pressure the sudden blindness uh, because of change in the position has been reported apart from various other neuroparesic injuries but this is different if the patient keeps on lying in the same position you just put the catheter he stays in the same position you don't require army of personnel surrounding the patient to do change of position from one to other and back to the same table and less chance of injury uh, to the patient patient is exposed to very less chance of injury uh, access to the airway is very safe for the anesthesia to manage and they have the neck and the central venous axis very careful attention can be paid to that you have no pressure on the abdomen no sprinting of the diaphragm no evidence or no uh, chance of any vena cava compression and anesthesia people very happy in this position to properly monitor monitor this patient what are the concerns uh, for the anesthesia uh, when the patient is being shifted to prone position to summarize why anesthesia people are worried when the patient is being changed to prone because there is a limitation of respiratory respiratory movement there is there are certain cardiovascular changes which happen due to change of this position if the patient is being operated in uh, regional anesthesia is uh, difficult to achieve airway access in 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 prone position and uh, there is always a chance of uh, airway displacement there are always a chance of injury to the face orbit and other uh, nerve injuries uh, after the positioning in prone position. but this is unfavorable in prone but in supine there's nothing like that there's no danger and anesthesia people are safe as less injury to the central and the peripheral nervous system there is a less risk of thrombolysis there is improved ventilator associated parameter for all the patient especially for the these patients and you don't need any extra anesthesiological equipment or support or extra manpower uh, even the patient stays in the supine position and if this uh, uh, supine vision is being done with general anesthesia this suits anesthesia very well they can just uh, sit comfortably monitoring the patient with or without uh, sedation uh, is is relatively comfortable for the patient also uh, the airway is uh, under the complete control of the anesthetist and if they need to give some general anesthesia uh, some sort of uh, laryngeal laryngeal mask or intubation can be done very easily only problem is uh, if the eyes are not properly covered if the patient is uh, being operated in this type of general anesthesia 
he feels claustrophobic because in front of him are uh, there are three big hardwares one is the cm machine one is the monitor on one side and other is the fluoroscopy monitor uh, on the other side so he feels little claustrophobic and lying down in this position if the, there's a, a big stone burden is a bit dif difficult in in supine position under regional anesthesia now we all know that when we sleep in the night we don't know which position we sleep we sleep in prone position we sleep in lateral position we sleep in supine but we are not aware we sleep for number of hours in this position but what happens to um, uh, anesthesia what concerns are raised when immediately um, the patient is being shifted from supine to prone position so let us discuss what are the various cardiovascular changes and what are the changes in food absorption which can happen happen when the patient is changed to different position this is just a concise summary of the various hemodynamic changes in terms of cardiovascular system will happen if the patient is shifted to prone there is a decrease venous venous return there is a decrease cardiac index it reduces to 1 for 25% of the reduction in cardiac index is seen decrease cardiac output the venous stasis is seen in the lower part of the body and this is uh, probably a reducing factor for thromboembolic events um, these are all the changes which worries the anesthetist and especially if the patient is of borderline uh, cardiac status uh, of uh, poor ejection fraction these are all the factor which worries the anesthetist and reverse is in the supine position there's nothing all these changes will not be present uh, because of position in supine the patient remains hemodynamically stable and because there's no change in position only problem is the if, if the if the procedure needs to go longer and you need to warm the patient for this this is not possible in supine position because the perineal access is usually uh, uh, taken by the scrub nurse or the uh, assistant if if, if uh, ecrs is also being planned then different changes can happen because of the fluid absorption in the prone the fluid uh, goes in, uh, in in from under the gravity from above downwards but in supine vision the things are a little different the angle of the sheet is almost horizontal to the ground or maybe slightly inclined down downwards so there is the, the flow of the irrigation is uh, uh, is uh, like gravity drain outside there is a continuous spontaneous evacuation of the fluid from the renal pelvis in the supine position that's why the absorption is reduced and this is useful for the patient who are having uh, morbidity in terms of uh, cardiovascular system and especially if the patient is being taken on for a large button stone or infectious system the disadvantage is that uh, because of this factor the collecting system is difficult to distend and may require greater amounts of uh, fluid irrigation to perform um, the uh, stone pulverization and endoscopic evacuation now what changes happen to the kidney when the patient is shifted from prone to supine there is one study which is done by yasini uh, which has been published in journal of endourology uh, what he has done is he has uh, taken the patient of uh, stone disease and has done low dose ct protocol for patient in prone position patient in supine position and patient in prone flex position so what he did is he studied various parameters in these three positions actually it was a, not a new study but it was a, a, a what you can say a, a continuation of a study which was done in 2010 by ut he added one or two parameters extra and uh, 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 brought a little novelty in this study so he studied six factors in the plain ct in done in three position prone supine prone flex he measured the excess tract length he measured the subcutaneous tissue length he measured the nearest organ distance from the um, calyx lower pole middle pole and upper pole he measured the access angle and the access field available for the puncture and the manipulation he measured the inner and outer distance of the kidney to the mid, mid lumbar area so the fourth and fifth factor were actually whether these factors are facilitating the puncture as well as the maneuverability the sixth factor was related to the mobility of the kidney in different positions so what was the observation from this study he observed that total tract length appears longer in supine position there was almost a, a gain of 6 cm uh, tract length in supine position and this was more when the lower pole is excess and this is a problem because in supine position is mainly majority of the time 
uh, is uh, the, it is the lower pole axis. Uh, but this difference appeared to decrease when the subcutaneous track length was decreased. That means from outside to the stone, if it has taken the total track length, which was more in supine, if we subtract the subcutaneous length, then it, it appeared that it is same like in prone position. But what is important is supine position is a procedure of choice in obese patient and mor morbidly obese patient. So we have to bear with that. So that means we are going to face the situation where we'll have a track which will be up longer or lender than the pro prone position. While comparing the access area and the access field, prone versus supine, he found that distance between the 12th rib and the alloy crest decreased significantly when the patient was shifted from prone to supine. So you have a very less field to uh, puncture and manipulate. And he observed that limitation of manipulations uh, which can interfere with the application of multiple accesses during the surgery is more common during the supine position. Maximum access angle was much wider in prone position in both left and right kit. This was a very, very important uh, uh, parameter which he studied. While assessing the injury which can happen because of a puncture in supine and the prone position, he found that supine position, uh, the puncture in supine position appeared safer in the lower pole. That means the other organs were not very close to the lower pole in supine position. But when the puncture is made in the mid and the upper pole in supine position, the chances of injury to the other organs like liver on right side, spleen on the left side, it is same at prone position. So the gain was only if the puncture is made in the lower pole, then only the puncture is safe in prevention of injury to the uh, uh, other organs. And one thing which was uh, very uh, favorably observed in supine position was that pollen was far away as compared to the prone, prone, uh, prone position, uh, favorably positioned in the supine position. And what, what is important here to understand is supine position is mainly studied uh, for a simple, uh, um, uh, what you can say, a comfortable stones, which can which are of two centimeter or less than two centimeter. And if you have a large button stone, a stock sag on stone, and you need uh, to puncture the uh, middle calyx or the upper calyx, then probably you have to keep in mind the risk uh, which can happen to the injury to the other organs like liver and spleen on different sides. While studying the mobility in the terms of measuring the distance from mid lumbar to the lateral border and the medial border, they found that renal displacement is more in the supine position. And if you compare the three techniques, the renal displacement or the mobility is much more in the prone, prone flex than in the supine and the least in the prone position. This was another important observation because we have to understand that in a supine position, when you are going towards the kidney and the, when the kidney is running away from you, you have to be very smart in puncturing the kidney. So what are the basic advantages they observe is uh, that uh, the, uh, uh, in this position, the radiation exposure and uh, uh, the improved ergonomics of the fluoroscopy is better in the su uh, supine position. And the, 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 if you put together all the uh, parameters, uh, the patient positioning is much better and it leads to shorter operative time if you combine all the factors. And this procedure can be easily combined with the uh, retrograde access into the ureter and into the kidney by flexible scope or the rigid scope. The disadvantages of increased track length or reduced maximum access area and uh, the mobility can be tackled by different ways. The, increased excess track length can be overcome by using a longer instruments and we have also kept three different type of instruments depending upon the uh, puncture of the needle we decide uh, whether we'll be using the normal or the medium long or the longer instruments and and the studies have advised to keep the flexible nephroscope also ready if the patient is obese and the subcutaneous length is more uh, uh, in these patients so supine has more track length as compared to the prone position to uh, negative effect of the maximum uh, track angle and the wider access, uh, which is available in the prone and less available in the supine. Uh, what they have suggested is this the solution for this can be um, circumvented by using ECIRS 
and the multiple puncture can be made by endovision in different different area of calysis and using the flexible nephroscope. The kidney mobility is much more in the superimposition. So solutions suggested in the different studies are that you have to try to feed the guide wire uh, from the collecting system into the ureter into the bladder. That will make the kidney fixed and that can negate the uh, effect of the increased mobility as seen in the superimposition. And again, the use of the flexible nephros nephroscope. And another thing is when, when the kidney is moving uh, away and away from you, you have to make sure that your amplus also stays uh, in a proper position and you need to sometimes fix your amplus uh, in the, uh, with the uh, superficial scan service with the sutures. To summarize uh, what I have stated is uh, the advantage of superimposition can be easily seen in terms of uh, uh, cardiovascular and airways control. So it is better in high risk patient, uh, patient with compromised cardiovascular status and obese patients. You don't need any repositioning. Better shown fragment clear, uh, clearance is seen because uh, the excess, sheet, excess track remains horizontal or it will downwards to the ground. There's a less chance of chronic injury and there's always opportunity to combine with the retrograde access. There's a less overall exposure to the uh, hands. Uh, disadvantage remains, uh, there's a limited space for uh, renal, puncture, uh, renal puncture and decreased maneuverability of the nephroscope, the nephroscope especially because of the lesser angle and the longer tract. And upper pore calyx are more medial and is challenging to puncture. And other thing here, yes, these are associated with the chance of injury to the uh, organs in the same way as uh, prone position. The dilatation is complex and you have to be very, very careful because kidney moves to go away from you. And there's a decreased filling of collecting system and the access track is little longer. The advantage of uh, prone position remains uh, reverse of uh, the supine vision, wider surgical field, more potential access side, easier, easier all calcium puncture can be uh, accessed very easily. There is a good movement of the nephroscope in all the uh, calcial access. There is a good distension of collecting system. There is shorter learning curve, less risk of visceral damage, and you can perform this procedure bilaterally. But the disadvantage being in terms of uh, cardiovascular and the hemodynamic changes, then you can uh, have a reduced cardiac index. And this is uh, especially you need to take care when the, there is a borderline cardiac status. Uh, the, uh, the cardiac fraction, the, if the ejection fraction is low in these patients, you have the respiratory access and the ventilator issues in the prone position. You have more risk of nerve injuries and ocular injuries while shifting this position. You have little higher risk of clonic injury as compared to the uh, supine position. And uh, you have a better angle and a better maneuverability uh, uh, while doing the prone position, but you have a more exposure, exposure to your hands while doing the puncture and the dilatation and the stone. Thank you very much.